What are you waiting for? Come join the Geek Drums Nation. What's up, guys? We have Superman and Lois behind the scenes set photos from the finale and from a few other episodes that I want to go through. And uh, guys, I'm really excited. The show is back this fall. And uh, before we jump into the stuff, if you are new here, please like and share. You can also subscribe and become a channel member today. I have great perks that I will I'll possibly link that. I keep forgetting to link that video, letting you know about the perks. But um, yeah, they're on my channel. I have several tiers that you can join and they're not expensive at all. So uh, yeah, like I said, if you feel like doing that, go ahead and do it. If not, I just thank you for watching this video and uh, for continuing to push me in my efforts over here on YouTube. Now, let's jump into these set photos. Clark, <laughs> looks like you got beat up, my boy. Also, I'm using Devs Mastani's uh, Twitter page and he has all of Canada Graphs images shared. You can become a Patreon member of Canada Graphs as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So yeah, but uh, yeah, looks like Clark got some work put into him right here. You know, I'm assuming Lex has some some evil machine that he's using, or maybe he's using the Lexo suit. I don't know. I don't think this Lex would need a full Lexo suit. He's massive, but I mean that's just my that's just my personal thinking. Uh, Michael Cutlets is gonna do an amazing job as lex i'm really excited to see him get more screen time the big bad for the entire season 10 episodes of just michael cutlets i'm excited i'm excited i'm really excited it's fitting that the final villain for superman and lois would be lex luther very fitting next up you have the cast here over here on set uh emmanuel uh bitsy we see uh alex garfin all of them here on set all of them here on set i'm so glad that they brought john henry irons back <laughs> and I love Michael Bishop as John Kent. I love him as John Kent. I don't know who this person is in front of the crew member. You can clearly tell that this guy with the hat on is a crew member. I don't know who's in front of him, but um, they seem to be talking about something. And it seems real smoky, so I'm guessing a major battle with Superman just happened. Um, makes me wonder, like, is Jordan suited up? Like, is this his suit? Like, you know, the little... The little all black suit that he has just without the mask and goggles. Is he suited up? I don't know. I can't really tell. I can't really tell. Next. Uh, Alex Garfin just walking around on set, it seems. Uh, it seems like he might be filming a TikTok. Or this could be a scene for a film. Canada Graphs will have to, uh, you know, further clarify that. Not really sure. But Alex Garfin just doing what he does on set. And this is the image that got me thinking. What if... What if, what if, what if, and this is just my thinking, what if they're ending this show like they ended Stargirl? We see a glimpse of the future. I mean, we see John Henry with the with the Superman emblem, with the House of Hell on his chest, with the cape. It looks like Nat is also in this mural, but, you know, just hidden by this flipped over SUV. Uh, and it says celebrating 25 years of Steelworks Industries. Now, somebody on Twitter did point out that this could just be they're the mascot for this company that's been around. But me personally, my mind went to maybe they're doing a flash forward for the last few minutes of the episode. That would be really cool. That would explain him having this because on set, we haven't seen him with the Superman emblem or the cape. And this is something I really, really, really wanted to see. Also, he's unmasked. So, yeah, identity's out there. But, uh, yeah, guys, what did, what did you think about this first batch of... Um, first batch of images guys i want to see uh what else dave dev has on his page i know he has quite a few so here we have images of the michael cutlets directed episode we see michael talking with somebody else possibly getting some uh some you know getting some pointers on what to do on set i'm really excited he also has not shaved his head you can see his hair growing back a little bit right here but you know he's directing so he might not be in this episode a lot or at all he might not be in all 10 episodes. Who knows? Oh, good old Michael. Good old Lex Luthor. Got his iPad in directing mode. Uh, the steals. Big steal and little steal. And like I said, they do not have the emblems on their chest yet. So that other image could be a flash. Well, flash forward. Am I jumping too far beside myself? I don't know. I don't care. That's the way I want to think. That's the way I want to think. all i want to go over today just those few set photos i'm really excited for the show and uh guys 
we only got a few more months until it happens. Until Superman and Lois is truly over. Like, are you guys ready for that? I'm mentally not prepared. I'm not mentally prepared for Superman and Lois to be done. This show is like the gem of the CW. This show is so goaded, bro. It's really, really good. Shout out to Todd Helbing for, you know, birthing this show for doing an amazing job with the show. And uh, Tyler Hecklin, mwah, wonderful Superman. You have been ever since you were first cast back in 2016. Let's face it, Earth Prime Superman was pretty nerfed but uh you you redeemed yourself with this show they 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 did superman justice and i'm guys i'm really excited really sad to see the show go but i'm glad to see they're going out on their own terms uh like i said guys please like share and subscribe let me know what you're looking forward to the most in this season let me know what you think about these set photos let me know any theories you have and uh i'll catch you guys next time